Real cars are crucial in Edward the man-leading train. These real cars provide defense against Edward and give you angles to shoot from. Certain real cars also give you additional ammo, health, and tickets to aid you in your journey. They are basically the lifeblood of the game and will massively dictate your chances of winning rounds, whether you realize they are not. The real cars found in many places throughout the map, and in this video, I'm going to explore each and every single one of them to find the best ones. So yeah, let's get started. The real cars are much more simpler compared to guns. Durability is straightforward. It basically just shows you how strong is it against Edward's attacks, and of course stronger durability means that you're able to be more secure while fighting Edward. Cargo is basically the extra crates that appear on the real car to aid you on your journey. The lower tier real cars are typically assorted, meaning that the real crates that appear in these real cars are generated at random. Higher tier real cars typically spawn in more crates, and are specific in what kind of crates they spawn. The delivery bonus is basically just extra money you get by using these real cars. These are great for grinding and a nice secondary source of income. However, However, only very few select real cars have them, and generally these real cars provide more of a disadvantage than an advantage to you. Some real cars come with roof access or a second floor, which allows you to gain extra angles against Edward, more room to hide, basically more mobility to increase your chances of survival. The basic shop is the shop that contains the cheapest items in the game, they're mostly geared towards beginners. No matter what location you're in, these items are available, but they earn anything that's good. The basic shop provides Econo Line real cars. These real cars are cheap, easy to access, but generally don't do much. The starter real car which is the Econoline Combine is your standard real car with weak walls and half of it is covered with windows. The Econoline Flat Car is a real car that literally has no walls to cover you. The only good thing about this real car is that it gives you 5 tickets as a delivery bonus, but considering that 0 walls is just not worth it man. Even at the low price of 20 tickets, I do not recommend you to buy this. The Econoline Coach is the same real car as the starter real car, but it has full windows. This gives very good visibility, and in my opinion, the best of this bunch in the basic shop. The last real car in the basic shop is the Econoline Coach, which allows you to open a door that allows you to get another angle on Edward. This is actually really useful, but it actively worsens the defense of the real car because you can't close the door. At the general oil location, you get to meet the oil workers, digging up oil to power the city of Archipelago. They need to transport their oil over to the city, but because of Edward, they are unable to do so safely. So for 560 tickets, you're able to buy the inductor tank wagon filled with oil. That gives you 25 tickets per round as a delivery bonus. 25 tickets is honestly absurd, but this particular real car is the worst real car that you can buy. It actively restricts your movement, and you have to waste tons of stamina just to cross over. This real car could potentially lose you games because of how difficult it is to navigate through it. I still think that it's a good purchase, just for the fact that the delivery bonus is so good, but when you're doing harder journeys, I recommend taking it off, because the drawbacks outweigh the benefits at that point. In Beggar's Bluff, you're going to get some off-the-wall real cars from this shady-looking dude. The main selling point of these real cars is the metal plates attached to the real cars. The armored Econoline boxcar has metal sheets attached to certain walls of the real car. These metal parts have much more protection than the wooden parts, but the cost is raised to $320. At $480, you're able to get access to a roof as well as the metal parts. For me, I don't really like how the real cars are presented here. They offer a bit more than the regular Econoline real cars, but the additional cost just doesn't justify the increase cost. If you saved up a little bit more, you could be getting some real serious high tier real cars that will serve you much more better. At Gravestone, this is the place that offers real cars from beginner to intermediate players. The lowest tier ones are basically the same Econoline real cars seen at the basic shop but with roof access attached to it. I feel like these real cars are much more value for money, considering how important roof access is when dodging Edward. $120, it's very affordable, and I think getting any of these would be a good idea for any beginner. The Hospital Coach is the first real car in here that steps up on defense, but it only spawns medicine crates. It's nice on paper, but in practice, medical crates spawn regularly enough for an entire journey, but ammo crates are usually used up entirely, so I'm not too fond of its medical specialty, but the windows and extra defense makes it really appealing at this price point. The Econoline Observation Coach is the highest tier of real cars from the Econoline series. It offers a more pleasant second floor compared to the other Econoline real cars, with some stairs and fences at the top. However, its low defense makes it a tough sell in my opinion, considering the real cars at Beggar's Bluff already give better defense while still offering roof access, while being slightly cheaper. Dropping its price or upgrading its defense will probably make it better. Deadridge City offers real cars from the Premier Line series of real cars. These real cars are designed for intermediate and advanced players with increased costs. The Premier Line Coach and Combine gives medium defense at $240, as well as providing windows or spawns for real cars. You can also get these for roof access, but its price is raised to 400 tickets. Now you can get the higher range of real 
cards from the Prima Line series. The Prima Line Observation Coach offers medium defense with a better second floor, but at the hefty cost of 720 tickets. The Prima Line by level coach is way more attractive, with the real card being a full double decker that has the second floor furnished with walls as well. For me, I feel like the by level coach is much more appealing than the Prima Line Observation Coach, as it gives you more crates and a fully furnished second floor for just an increase of 80 tickets. And lastly, the real cards from the Eastern Watch Post. These are military grade real cards that are heavy duty and provide loads of protection and additional ammo crates for you. The logistics wagon comes with 720 tickets and offers high defense with more ammo. The military reconnaissance wagon offers the same thing but with a roof, as well as the cost of 960 tickets, which makes it the most expensive real car in the game. These real cards are top of the line, high end real cars designed for the most advanced players. They offer more ammo than any other real car and give the best protection against Edward. And now, what real cars do I recommend? Keep in mind this is entirely my own opinion and I recommend doing your own research too to see what fits you the best. For beginners, I think that the Econoline real cars with roofs are a good idea found at Gravestone. These already give roof access at a measly $120. They're not anything good, but the fact that it's so cheap makes it a good pickup. Another alternative would be the tank wagon found at General Oil. This will help you grind cash in the long run and allow you to buy other equipment in the game like guns and medical supplies. But it is priced at $560, so if you don't mind about grinding a little bit, this is a great investment for the long term. For intermediate players, the lower tier Prima Line real cars offered at Dead Rich City are appealing. These give you medium defense while still keeping the cost low at 220 tickets. As for advanced players, I recommend saving up for the military rail cars. These provide the most for what you need and are much, much better than the high tier Prima Line rail cars. And yeah, that's about it for me. If you want to learn about the best guns in Edward the Manating Train, check out my guide on it. It goes into detail about every gun to see which one is best for you. Anyways, thank you for watching and yeah, see you guys soon. Oh,